You're listening to the Impact Implosion on the Angry Marks Podcast Network. May 10th, 2016. It is another episode of the Impact Implosion here on the Anger Marks Podcast Network. As always, I am Seth Drinkin, and on the other end of this line, the D to my K, Mr. Mike Pollan. Hello. <laughs> so my abyss of crazy Steve. It was either that or the Willow 1 to my Willow 2. <laughs> I guess that would make Kev Willow 3. Yeah. In any event, we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, we will. I, I seriously think that they, I know we're going to probably call this epi- uh, your buddy uh, Stevie J is probably going to call this episode uh, EC3 versus Rockstar Spud. We really should call this Army of Willows. <laughs> so many willows. <laughs> so many willows. Anyway, Man, we, it's not gonna get this thing. This whole willow thing isn't going to get much better. All right, we got some news. Yeah. A little and bit. The, the news being that, well, TNA's ratings are up again. I saw they were down. That must have been last week. Well, I thought last week they, that maybe this was old. Uh, oh, no. It was old. Let me check. I saw they were down. Oh, they might have been down this week. Last week they were, like, up for the third week in a row. Oh, no, they're down. They're down this, they were down this week. My bad. What I, was I, last week's show? Last week's show was the one where we gave it a D. Oh, yes. What was the main event there? Um, sadly, I think it was, no, it was, uh, it was Mike Bennett, Jeff Hardy, and Bobby, La- and Frank. Oh, the show where it was, like, all storylines and talking and, like, TV yeah. And yeah. Yeah. No wonder that got a low rating. Yeah, it was just, com- just. People complain that WWE does too much talking. TNA yeah. happens a little bit. Yeah. So. We had that, and also we had, it's the, today is the 14th anniversary of TNA's existence. With Jeff Jarrett and his years ago, Jeff some Jarrett woman and named daddy. Dixie Carter stumbled into a room, running a wrestling company. No, 14 years ago, Jeff Jarrett and his daddy, Jerry, decided to run a company called TN, Total Dot Stop Action, or TN NWA with TNA with the conglomerate NWA. Uh, By the way, Christopher da- today, yesterday, Christopher Daniels and uh, Frankie Zary in the Addiction won the ROH tag titles again. Yes, at a Ring of Honor event in Michigan. Uh huh. As part of the War of the World Global Wars Tour, whatever they're called. It was the That's tapings, the yeah, TV. part of the tapings. They beat well, the, the war tapings machine. Are tomorrow. Oh, I thought this was part of the tapings. No, okay. the tapings are tomorrow. All right. This is just a house show that they'll probably put on VOD and DVD in the next few weeks. Yep. So that's the new. Also, you might have mentioned a few weeks ago we missed that Samoa Joe won the war, the NXT title, and Eric yep. Young showed up last week. It, very coincidental. Oh, TNA. Eric Young shows up a week after he wrestles his final match in TNA. They air his final match in TNA. The, the next and he week, still, he's not under contract. Yeah, the next week he shows up on NXT. They air that. It's rather awkward. Too bad it wasn't NXT and Impact weren't live. You could have. Oh yeah, that would have been fun. Ninety-seven. That would have been fun. He's clean shaven on one show and he has a beard on the other. <laughs> oh well. Magic. All right. Let's get to <laughs> Impact. Oh, boy. We start uh, off with Jeff Hardy. Yeah, because he wants answers for the why Decay attacked him last week. Although, I got to mention this, Jeff Hardy. You really half-assed it at your face paint this week. He says, I don't have any problems with Decay. 
They're yeah, cool. He, you come out to Marilyn Manson and then they interrupt him. Yeah, he basically just grabbed a handful of some, just uh, just put his put his fist, put his hand into some orange paint and just smeared it. High pay paint match. Yep. So so he gets interrupted by the decay. Well, you were going to ask for them, so and I'm starting to warm up to Abyss's uh face paint. Mm. Starting to look a little interesting, so and Rosemary reveals it's they were the they were yeah, a pay a little bit. Yep, they were a pay to attack Jeff Hardy. And Abyss says, Hey, that person will reveal himself at the right time. So but right now, we may want to attack you. And they're about to. And Jeff says, I don't sell out. I sell in. Jeff, that is still stupid. We, you we sell you, in. You, that was stupid when you said it when you were heel for immortal. It is stupid now. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No. The, the, here's, here's the thing. You don't sell out. You buy in. You don't. That's, that's what, what Jeff it is. Said when he joined immortal. Yeah, that's what's. That's what you should have said. That's how the phrase goes. Yeah, you buy in. You buy in. Seth Rollins said that I bought in. I didn't yeah. sell out. Seriously, Jeff, really. I made an investment in the authority. I made an investment in myself. And so James Storm comes out, and you get, apparently I you have get a tag te- team title rematch, and Appar- I'm going to team up with Jeff Hardy. Yeah, apparently you can get that now without your partner. He also has his uh, non-beer money music. Oh, he does. Not the uh, not the uh, faction, the, not the revolution music. No, I mean the one where it's like the beer swinging. Yeah, he has that. Yeah. He came oh, up that. Nick's red dicks of my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jeff's like, you could pretend I'm a weatherman because there's going to be a charismatic storm coming. And I'm like, it's a shame that this is only a one night team because that's not a bad name. Eh, eh. So Jeff Hardy goes for a swan. T- the match is okay. Jeff Hardy goes for a swanton bomb, but the lights go out and it is Willow. Jeff Hardy but is wait confused. A minute. Jeff Hardy's in the ring. How can yeah. Willow be outside of the ring? Yeah. Jeff Hardy's Willow. What the hell? <laughs> this causes a distraction. Double missed by Steven Abyss, and then a black hole slam by Abyss, and the champs retain. This is, oh, we're not and done with this. It's going to get better from here with that Oh, angle. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you and I have both seen this spoilers. <laughs> oh, dear God. Drew is going to to the ring. It says, I'm going to the ring to call out Franklin and wants him to remember when he was a man. And seriously, when TNA goes out of business, we need a worst of TNA DVD. The worst it's moments of TNA. Whenever eventually they go out of business. What? The worst of TNA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Drew, we, we missed the, the fact that EC3 and Drew Galloway I, I, invaded oh, them. Oh, yeah, and they Evolve invaded Show. Evolve. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, they invaded Evolve. They're basically against, because they're indie successes who succeeded out despite the system, that, and they're upset Evolve for going with the system. That's not a bad angle, actually. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. Very good. Yeah. So anyway, check out some of all to to see where this goes. I guess. (laughs) What was Willow doing out here? I'm Willow. (laughs) Was Jeff Hardy backstage? I'm going to reveal him tonight. And I immediately Uh, thought. And I immediately thought of they were going to do this in the ring, and I was like, oh shit. Thankfully, they didn't, but that's, it was still That's stupid. what I thought, too. I'm like, oh, God, that's going to be the closing segment. Oh, God, yeah. So, it's going to be Matt Hardy. Oh, wait, it's later. <laughs> oh, wait, that's later. Maria and Mike Bennett went to a Smashing Pumpkins Liz Fair concert and took pics with Billy wait, Corgan. Liz, Liz Fair, isn't she, wasn't she like a pop singer? I think so, yeah. She was like under, yeah. plays under <laughs> Smashing pumpkins. One of those things is not like the other. One of those things doesn't she belong. It was the opening act, Liz Fair. So here comes Drew Galloway. Oh, no, actually, uh, Maria says to, to Billy Corgan, uh, Mike's got some ideas. So, And then they cut off the camera. So here comes Drew Galloway as he wants to meet the turtle in the ring. Here comes Lashley. Here comes the turtle, Franklin Roberto Lashley. 
<laughs> yes. You. I, I want a match with you, Lashley. Okay, yeah. but I'm going to give it to you next week. Uh, of course, Drew. I don't play games. And I'm like, of course you don't play. Once you said the pot is over to Raw Truth when you yeah. were in WWE. So when Franklin's you were supposed to be the chosen one. Yep. Franklin says that he needs a week. He needs that Drew needs to take a week, and then Franklin will take the title off him. I'll give you a week to get your affairs in order and all that shit. <laughs> then I'll oh take boy. the title off you. And then Drew's like, I am fighting tonight. Don't turn your back on me. Yep. And he's like, look, you got a week. I don't want to do it tonight. You got a week. So, yeah. And then Eli Drake comes out and he says, you know what? I got this King of the Mountain you. briefcase. I'll take that world title. Off. I like that world title on you. Uh, He's going, he's going for the top to down if he's going for the world title first. I mean, uh, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. World title, King of the Mountain title exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> he's going down. He's got to go doing, down. He's doing this, Eli, you're doing this backwards. Yeah. You're doing the ladder backwards. Although the prospect of Eli Drake in the X division interests me a little bit. <laughs> you know, I'll do one of those high flying things. <laughs> <laughs> Is Eli Drake doing Ultimate X? I know. So, and he's like, Drew's like, you picked me at a bad time, buddy. I'm, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. So, I'm going to kick your ass. You're going to kick your arse. You're going to kick your arse. <laughs> so, Eli says the world title belongs to him and that he's God. Stop, everyone, stop calling yourselves God, please. Nobody stop is God it. here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we get an impromptu world title match. And this was okay again. Uh, basically, we all knew who was going to win. Um, Eli Drake grabs the world title, brings it in the ring so the ref can throw it out, and Eli tries to use the briefcase. And then he kicks Drew, about to use the briefcase. Ref, ref catches him, grabs the briefcase. Eli, being mad at this, distracts him, which results in Drew hitting a Claymore and Future Shock DDT for the win. Then, of course, Franklin spears Drew afterwards and raises the title in the air on the fallen champ as the crowd calls him a coward. Then EC3 is like, I'm going to that ring right now. I'm going to do some negotiations. I'm not leaving that ring until I get a rematch with Mike Bennett. And then after a commercial site, we see Maria in the makeup room and Jade and Gail Kim are like, you wanted to see us? Mm. Hello. You two are going to fight tonight. Like, Anna's going to be you know a to make sure you do. Yeah, fight. I'm going to give you your rematch tonight. Jay, you okay with this? Good. But I'm going to have Sienna out here to make sure things go. And I want this match to be a five star match or like what da that Davy M guy calls it. Hmm. What the Davy M guy calls it. <laughs> <laughs> so EC3 oh, comes good. out. And he's like, and the crowd is chanting for him, and he's like, okay, thank you. I want to talk business with Bennett and your wife. Drop so they Maria come out. on out here. What? So what? There's touch your wife on out here. So EC3, Maria's like, you don't know my name. My name is, your name is Toots McGee. I just want to <laughs> talk to Bennett. It doesn't matter what your name is. I want to talk to your husband. <laughs> I want to talk to Mike Bennett, not you, Toots McGee. I'm thankful he didn't call her. Michael. I'm thankful he didn't call her Tits McGee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, Tits McGee. <laughs> <laughs> it would be applicable for Maria. Uh, That's sexual harassment, Miss Cerise <laughs> Three. That's yeah, why I called her Toots. Yes. It's wrestling. Yeah. Hey, and, and, it's not it and it's not sexual harassment unless Austin Aries puts his crotch in your face. That's <laughs> sexual harassment. And then instead of ringing out the for two, after that, and it's all off work for some reason. I know. Mike Bennett says, you know, I understand you want your rematch, but I don't need anything from you, so I'm moving on. And ec is like, hey, Bennett, I know, I'm glad you're wearing your sunglasses out here because it's always sunny in Doucheville. <laughs> It says, oh, you you got an ego, don't you? He's like, you're damn right I got an ego. I so beat you. I. He's like, so do I. And he says, 
Well, I said this was going to be a biggest moment last week, and how'd you do? Oh, wait, you didn't, you did, lost to Lash Franklin. Sorry. So, since you're not doing anything, uh, you can either do two things. You can either sit backstage with the proverbial thumb up your butt, mm. or you can fight you me can right now. And he is like, she talked, we talked to Billy Corgan, and we gave him a great idea. And Mike says, you know what? I like this. I like that you want to fight me. I like this, but I'm going to do something for you. We're going to play a little game here. You like to play a game? I like to play a game. I want EC3. You're going to fight all your in-ring demons in a road to redemption. And if you beat all of them, I'll fight you. I real EC3 and Mike Bennett might be the best feud the company has right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Easily. This is yeah. easily the best feud in the company they, because they have some ideas. I do like this. And he's like, you know what? You, 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 they're basically been talking about how EC3 is falling and stuff. You need to get him up. Build him up again. Yep. So after that, we get the Kabuki Taker taking on Jade for the knockouts title. If and you don't Sienna see the getting, finish coming a mile away, yep. Sienna's at ringside. Yep, TNA also has the Best of Asylum Years promo, and CM Nunk Punk is one of the names hyped. CM Punk, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy. Two of <laughs> these names don't work here anymore. Yeah. One of these names doesn't even wrestle anymore. <laughs> so, basically, this match goes okay. I think there were some sloppy spots everyone's talking about. This was going to be an incredible match until Sienna interfered, but no. I think there were some spots where I'm like, they, I don't know what's going on with these two. I don't think they work well together tonight. They don't mesh. They're not meshing tonight. And they're, they're doing okay. And then um, Gail goes outside and talks to Sienna, like tries to, and Jade attacks Gail. And then Sienna attacks Jade Jay after her. Gail's back in the ring, beats her up, causes which causes a DQ, and Gail is pissed. And Gail tries to fight Sienna, but Sienna kicks Gail's ass, too. And Josh was like, you just ruined what was going to be an incredible knockouts match. And I'm like, no. No. Nope. That didn't happen. Sorry, Josh. You're wrong. And then we get to Al Snow cutting a promo from Al Snow Wrestling Academy. He's going to be the Donald Trump of professional wrestling. I'm tired of all these people being able to get in the ring. I'm talking about these people are doing it the right way. Not everyone gets in pro wrestling. And, I'm, and everyone's ignoring Al Snow while he's cutting this promo. And he's like, all these people right here are doing it right. They're ignoring him. They're at some random and wrestling I, school. Yeah. And, and I'm asking, I wonder if Al Snow saw the Edge and Christian skit from uh, this week's episode where they had the best of Al Snow DVD. <laughs> and they called it as a cure for insomnia. And Mick Foley's like, I have the best of Al Snow. I've n just two minutes in, and I got to s went right to sleep. <laughs> Even Josh Matthews is like, Al Snow is known for a group called the Job Squad and coming out with a mannequin head. I know, yeah. I don't know what he's going on here. Yeah. Al Snow is apparently wants to make wrestling great again. So EC3 is backstage telling everyone to raise the cage and tell Miracle he needs to start praying. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, Mike Bennett is EC3's first opponent is as in a steel cage tonight. Six sides mm -hmm. of steel against a mystery opponent. I for completely forgot about that. That was basically what the end of the segment evolved. And then yep. here comes the cure for insomnia, Al Snow, against the low rent Batista, Mahabali Shira. Unfortunately, if you have insomnia, actually, that probably would have helped with this match. But anyway. <laughs> this match sucked. It basically was your standard. Al Snow's got to use a weapon and uses it and tries to distract the ref by stupid putting his hands on the ref. It's not the 1970s. Yeah, that, huh? look, look at him. He puts. He's like puts. The, he like has the ref's head. It's 1970s Memphis wrestling. I know. Jerry Lawler does this every indie match I've seen him in. I'm like, oh my god, Al, stop this shit. This looks very bad. Next. And, and then Al Snow hits a snowplow, but Shearer kicks out at two count. Grado comes in to take the weapon away from Snow, who wants to use it again. Look, it's 
Grotto, who let him in the building? It's Grado, who <laughs> let him back. <laughs> and Shiro wins with a sky high, which I kind of missed, but I yeah. kind of figured when they were talking about it that that's how he won. But So, yeah, Shiro wins, Grado's back. Ugh, this segment's going to freaking continue. Oh, yeah. We got so a backstage yes, we got party. Introduction to a team coming, so. Willow! Get over here, Willow! And he finds Willow and starts fighting him. And then another Willow attacks Jeff Hardy, but Jeff beats him up with an umbrella. So the first Willow hits him with a steel chair and lays him out. Then we see there's a third Willow. Uh, so, yes, army of Willows. <laughs> so. God. That's and he, next is the ma- steel cage match as EC3 must with face the history. Ten minutes left in the show. With a little bit more than ten minutes, but no, they and, went to a commercial before Bennett did promo. Uh, and but ten minutes was all they needed because his opponent was Rockstar Spud. If you yeah. give these guys at least ten minutes, they'll f- rat, they'll do a good match, and this was a good match. Yep. Yeah. And I do like that Rockstar Spud has an instrumental version of Smashing Pumpkin's song. What song was that? No, I said that I liked it. I don't know no, what well, song it was, but it's like... What did Jay get in the new theme, by the way? I missed that. Uh, she got it last week. She got new music okay. last week. So, Rockstar... Josh keeps calling Rockstar Spud a ring rat, and I'm like, Josh? <laughs> a woman, you, you, not a man. Oh, that can first, be a man. First of all... If you keep calling him that, I don't think you know what a ring rat is. I mean, all these people are looking at you. And then they like the EC3 splash because they've been keep calling it that. And I'm like, stop ripping off Stang. It's it's a splash. Just don't call it the EC3 splash. EC3 makes easy work a spot. It's like when they, they you know, the Garvin stomps and they the WDB was originally going to call them the Orton stomps. And then someone... Someone better, uh, someone smarter said, you know, you're going to do that. That's going to sound really stupid, and really yeah. stupid. And people know what it really is. Stupid. Rizzle, stupid, stupid. <laughs> so, EC3 makes pretty short work of Spud, even though. Actually, no, it, did, it didn't make short work. Spud almost won several times in this match. Hmm. But EC3 did get the one percenter and pinned his former buddy and Bennett claps his job well, a job Golf well done. Clap. Yay! Good and show. I gotta give this a high C, not the ecto cooler high C, but <laughs> a C that's borderline B, but not close enough. I think it would have been fine if you didn't have the Al Snow stuff and the, all the Willow. So. <laughs> the Willows. <laughs> and it's, go- oh, by the way, the Willow stuff's <laughs> gonna get worse. It's gonna As get dumber. We go further in the next few weeks, the anniversary. <laughs> yep. Well, we're all gonna be like, uh, why TNA? Why <laughs> would this Willow? Crap? Where's Cal Mitchell with a sound effect? Why? Ow! Ow! Oh, <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> all right. Do you have anything to sell? Not this week. How about you? Well, I will not be here over the weekend. I um have to go to my cousin's wedding so on Saturday, so I'll be back probably Sunday. Yep. And with that said, Miley, we are heading to bed. Good night, everybody. <laughs>